Okay, sorry about all the technical difficulty that we just had there. Um, basically now what we did, um, I didn't r realize that we stopped recording, um, is all the tubs are lined up with all their babies in them. Um, then the tubs have a moist paper towel in there um, with the baby. And then we put uh, these meat packing trays um, on top of them with a hole cut in there. Um, and this basically creates a humid hide for them um, in their container. Um, we don't put the food dishes in right away. Um, usually on the first round of cleaning that we do on them, they get their first uh, meals. Um, because at this point they don't really eat until after they shed for the first time, which can usually take anywhere from two to seven days. Um, so right now all they get is water, um, which they gladly lap up. Um, this guy is our pure fasciolatus, so we're going to bring him over to the rack and set him right there. Um, these guys, uh, or this one right here, is our patternless stripe project animal, um, which a lot of our green stuff pops out of that, um, and uh, some weird pattern stuff and some orange things. Um, this guy right here is our dream sickle cross to Afra, um, which was just a baby albino, um, which I might be able to zoom in and you know, he's got his eyes closed. But uh, whenever he feels like opening them, he will. Um, this is uh, some of our rack systems with the babies in them right here. Um, kind of went through yesterday and tried to sort them a little bit more. Um, this is our uh, bell stuff right here in this rack. Um, got everything from uh, uh, Super Snow Bells with the uh, um, Enigma and Fasciolatus to um, our radars, um, a Snow Jungle uh, Bell radar up there, um, some other cool looking stuff. Um, actually this guy made a mess out of his container, but I'll show you him. Um, that's a uh, radar that just kind of looks kind of weird. Um, might even be an Enigma radar, but I can't really tell at this point. Like, uh, he's just totally weird, and he's he's definitely staying here, so um, no rush on him. We'll be able to prove him out. Um, then over on this side, we've got uh, try to zoom out of here out a little bit, because it's kind of close quarters. Um, this is some of our Typhoon stuff um, right here, um, and then some of the Typhoon uh, crosses that didn't really have the eye pigmentation. Um, we've got, uh, looks like a typhoon in here. Yep, this is uh, a snow patternless stripe typhoon. Um, that's really kind of cool. Had a reverse stripe whenever it was little, but uh, now it's uh, kind of uh, growing out of it, if you will. Um, you should be able to see his eyes here if we zoom in. Um, cool part about these guys is they have blacker eyes. It's not really the red like the raptor, but uh, it's kind of one of those things we had to breed it to see um, how it would act. Um, and we got a snow patty typhoon up here, which he's pretty cool. Getting actually a lot of yellow on him for uh, being um, a snow, but whenever he hatched out, he was definitely uh, white. Um, and we've got the banded one right here. This guy's got some cool coloration to him. Um, a lot of lavender shown through. Um, he's a snake-eyed one, but I can't zoom in far enough to really see that. Um, got some pure fasciolatus right there. Pretty big um, for his age. Um, some pure Afghanica stuff up here. Little babies flying around the cage. Um, they usually don't mind being together as much. Um, this guy's kind of cool. It's our Montanus cross to uh, Mammoth, um, which Mammoth is one of our giants. These guys right here are actually um, probably about a month and a half old, and they're already probably close to 22 grams, I would say. Um, they're grown extremely fast. Um, seeing if there's anything else cool over here that I could show you real quick. Um, actually, I'll just stop it for now and uh, show you some more stuff later.